With the bushfire season underway, a study has found most people living in high-risk fire zones are woefully unprepared. Hundreds of at-risk residents in South Australia were tested on their preparation skills using some high-tech equipment. Erica has lived in the Adelaide Hills for the past 10 years. Having gone through a fire on her property a few years ago, she knows no amount of preparation is enough for when the time hits. We went into our plan, but um, I was really nervous, like very stressed. I can, I can just remember how much my heart was racing. It's what made her participate in a virtual reality experiment by the University of South Australia and the Country Fire Service. The study found most people from bushfire prone areas were not as prepared as they thought they were. We had more than 55% of people said they would wait and see what happens rather than be decisive in the action either to leave early or to stay and defend. There were things that came up that I hadn't thought about in, in our fire plan. Um, things like where, which room to shelter in. But researchers say these findings are not uncommon. Which one do you think is suitable to take shelter in? 27% of the people in the Black Saturday fires died in the bathroom because we sort of have all these American movies with hurricanes that we think we should go to the bathroom. It's really unsafe in a bushfire. For people in fire danger zones, preparing for a bushfire is an annual chore. But researchers hope VR will also become a common tool. Virtual reality is a really immersive environment and you're more likely to retain information. You enter that world and, and everything's locked out, so you're really experiencing it a different way to if you were to read instructions on what to do in a fire. How likely is it that you would be concerned about your survival at this point? A virtual experience to prepare for something participants hope won't become a reality. Shamsia Mohammadi, ABC News, Adelaide.